Good morning. How is you? Yeah, we doing Pilates in five minutes. Okay, so uh, today we have available for lunch around one o'clock. Ellen may not be able to come because we have one of those another fire thing that's in the uh, ceiling of your house. Yeah, yeah, the so sensor, the sensor. Yes, please connect me either with Anna or Elodia.
is a home cross 1011 Scatter Home Road. Hi, how are you? Good, good. So, anyway, um, I hope they will be able to pick up today the waste. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay, thank you, thank you. Bye bye. Thank you, you too. Bye bye. They haven't slept for two nights. Why? There is the smoke detector, alarm detector, that it's all the way up in the ceiling. We have them in our room also. And even with a the ladder, they can't get up. And the guy couldn't show up yesterday. He's coming today around 11, but they never know. So he might come along. For lunch. We can't even invite him here. This is going to happen in Shutley. Yeah. He and I, we can sit, walk yeah. around. Yeah. Hi. Right. That's a very, very good idea. Hi, guys. Hi. <laughs> how are you? Good. How are you? Good, good. I have only two of you. What? So, only us? Yeah, just two of you, so we're going to be. Ah, okay. I'm right here. I'm going to just run to the ladies. Okay. It's just us now. Okay, go. Okay, perfect. So let's start standing this time. And you have your little weights and uh, bands, right? You have bands and weights. Bands and little weights. Okay, perfect. So let's start standing first and then we can work. I mean, I don't need to mute you because it's just two of you. So we can stay like this, whatever. Okay, perfect. So let's start with a little warm ups here. So you're gonna take a big inhale and then you're gonna cross your arm over the body and twist your hips towards one side. So just like that. So just reach the arm over, exhale, and inhale. Just warming up our body. So you're twisting your foot, reach over and breathe. Just for a few of those. And reach, twist the hips to one side, to another side. And a few more. And two more there. Perfect. And go to the center. Okay. So from there, you separate your legs, kind of wider than the hips, and a little external, external, um, opening with your toes and knees to the outside, just like that. And then you're gonna take a big inhale, press the arms up, and exhale, go to the squat, arms down. 
and inhale and exhale go down and just continue with those exhaling to the squat inhaling reaching the arms up and three more and two more this morning up body last one and go all the way up perfect then you're going to press your arms down and then you're going to go with the left arm lean towards the right side arm over the head so hips stay in the place you're just kind of stretching that side body lean go back to the center and then another one lean over arm over the head to one side and just one more time on each Towards the side, go back and to the side, go back. Perfect. Go to the center, close your legs a little bit, and then you're just going to go to the shoulder circles. So, to one direction, circle those shoulders, warm up. Shoulder circles. And just to more on that side. And you're circling your shoulders. Uh, in another direction. Just circle in another direction. And two more. And release. All right. So now you're going to grab your small weights. So whatever you have, grab your in your hands. Perfect. And now you're going to separate your legs kind of hip wide apart for your squat. Maybe a little bit wider than a hip. Okay. Perfect. You're gonna press your arms like this. So if you can't see me on the video, it's just you're gonna press your arms like this, bend the elbows to the side. Okay, big inhale, go to the squat, exhale and close your elbows. Inhale, come back, open. So just close forward, squat, open when you come up and breathe. Try to sit on that imaginary chair so your knees are not going too much over your toes and over your ankles. And open up, close the arms down, open up, and slowly be controlled. Mm -hmm. Squat down and up. Yep, perfect, four more. Three more, two, last one, go down to the squat, come up, stay here, micro bend your knees, so you're holding your arms like this, and you're just going to reach the arms up, and bend, up, and bend to the side, so now you're not going to the squat, so just arms are working like that, reach them, and bend. Reach and bend to the 90 and breathe. Just like that. Only arms. And three and two. And last one. And release. Okay. Release your arms and go to the wider position with your feet. So, like you want to take that sumo squat, open your toes and knees to the outside a little bit. So, we have that wide position. Okay, so from here, you're going to go to that sumo squat, bend the elbows when you go down, extend the arms when you come up. Just bend and extend, and bend and extend, just like that. And squat your knees and toes aligned. Try to sit on that imaginary chair there, so sending your tushi towards the back. And breathe. Five more. And four. Mm -hmm. Three. Two. Last one. Squat down. Come up and stay here. Now you're going to press your arms forward, shoulder height in front of you, just like that. Stay up. And then you're just going to go to your biceps. Just, just bend but hold your arms in that shoulder high position. 
Relax the shoulders down away from your ears. And just bend and extend your elbows. And five. And four. And keep the arms in shoulder height all the time. So arms in shoulder height. And then bend and extend. And two more. And last one. And release. Okay, perfect. So now I'm going to stay on the side here so you can see me. So now you're going to close your legs kind of hip wide apart. So don't go to that wide open position, just close. Okay, micro bend your knees, belly in, hinge your back a little bit forward. So hinge forward, flat back, neck align, keep your arms next to your side, reach your arms towards the back, go to your triceps, bend and stretch. Just like that. So keep your knees slightly bent, keep the hinge forward, neck align the spine, belly in, so belly is strong, flat back, just bend and reach, extend, triceps here, and five, and four, and three, two, last one, press the arms down, straight arms next to your sides and then open to the side wide and close like an airplane open close so keep that hinge forward keep the knees slightly bent neck align with the spine micro bend your elbows reach up and press down reach up squeeze this up press down and five and four and three, and two, and last one, all the way down. Okay, shake the shoulders here, perfect. So now your left foot is forward, left knee slightly bent, and right leg is towards the back, just like that. Keep the hinge forward, keep your weights next to your chest, just keep your weights inside of your hands, just you're not doing nothing with the arms, okay. So little hinge, flat back, neck aligned. So front knee is bent, and the back leg is extended. And you just gonna reach that leg up and down. Tap the toes down and reach up, squeeze the glute. So practice your balance here. And working that right side of the booty if you're reaching the right leg up. Up and down. So balancing on one foot and one leg, just press down and up, press down and up, and five more, and four, and three. If you need to hold to something, if you need to hold to the wall or to the chair, just make sure that you're holding if the balance is so-so, and then you're reaching the leg. And last one, and press down. Okay, so now just switch the legs. So now just switching. So if you need to hold to the wall, just do that and make sure that you're reaching the back leg up, squeeze the glute and down. Belly in, a little hinge forward. Don't put the pressure on your lower back. If you need support, hold. And five, and four, and three, and two, and last one and back down okay shake your legs if you need to and now switch the legs again so now left foot forward or whichever leg it is just switch right towards the back so we're going to go to that lounge position go down and up just like that watch that your front knee is right above the ankle and your front knee is not going over the toes and your back knee is under your hip Straight up your back. You can hold your hands on your hips if you want, or whatever is easier for your balance. Just down and up. You're gonna feel the burn. Inhale, exhale. Two more. Last one. And come up and switch the legs. Okay, switching your legs to the lounge position. And let's go again. Just switch the legs. So front knee is not going over the toes, just above the 
ankle and back knee is under your hip. And straight up your back, belly is strong, toes fine. And let's go for five more. And four, and three, two, and last one, and come all the way up. Perfect. Shake your legs. If you need to put the weights down, just put the weights all the way down. Grab your bands, just one more team standing, and then you're going down on the floor. So grab the bands and put them over your ankles, kind of a little bit above the ankles. So you have them down. Okay. So hold your hands on your hips. Separate your feet so you feel a little tension, so hip wide apart. Micro bend your knees. Send the tushy a little bit towards the back. And let's go walk towards the left side two times and to the right two times. So you're walking, feel the resistance with the bend. So you're gonna feel that outside of your glutes and your thighs. So you're working that hips and the glutes. Micro bend your knees. If you can go lower in the squat, you can do that too. And you're gonna feel that in your tushy and your hips. Just slightly walk two times to the left, two times to the right, and breathe. Keep the belly in strong. Keep the tushy towards the back a little bit. Knees are bent. Just one more on each side. Two times on another side. And then after that, release. Put the bend down and let's go down on the floor. So now we're going down on the floor, lay down, hug your knees towards your chest. Just kind of give yourself a stretch. Yeah, massage the spine side to side. Perfect. Just breathe. You can do your um, spine twist. So as you're laying down on your back, open your arms on the T position on the floor. Keep the arms down, shoulder down. Bend the knees to the 90 and then bring the knees towards the right. You're looking to the left. Mm -hmm. And lay down on the floor. I'm sorry, I'm not laying down flat because I kind of, it bothers me. With the, with the belly and yeah, perfect. So head is down, arms are down, open in the T. Yep. And just one more team, one more on each side just to, to stretch it out. Mm -hmm. And bring them back to the center. Okay, perfect. You have your knees in the center. So you are down on the floor, head is down, shoulders down, arms next to your sides. I'm not going to really go down on the floor, but I'm going to show you like this. So knees are bent in a 90 degrees <clears throat> angle, tabletop, knees about the hips. So separate your legs, kind of hip wide apart, point your toes, and let's go warm up those abs with the toe taps. So now right toe tap down and up, and left down and up. Just our toe taps to warm up those abs. Yep. Alternate and keep that 90 degree angle with your knees all the time. So you're working from your belly. Belly is super strong. Try to keep the belly in and without arching the back. Toe taps, perfect. Mm -hmm. Continue and breathe. And two more on each. Last one on each. Breathe. And bring them back to the tabletop. Perfect, take a little breather, tabletop your knees, squeeze your legs together, point your toes, and let's go together. Tap, down, and up. So both toes tapping and up to the 90. Don't lose the 90 degree angle with the knees. Everything goes from your belly. Shoulders down, head down, arms next to your side. Five more. And four. And three and two, and last one, and hug the knees in towards your chest. Hug, 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 massage the spine side to side. Take a little breather. 
Okay, so knees in the tabletop again. So stay down with the head, knees in the tabletop. Now you're gonna press your hands on the back of the head. So hold your hands on the back of the head, open the elbows wide. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna keep your knees in the tabletop and then you're gonna curl head, neck and shoulders up and down, curl up and down. So knees are in the tabletop all the time here. So you're just curling head, neck and shoulders up and going down. Take a curl and back. Exhale, curl, inhale, go back. Just curling with the knees in the tabletop. Mm -hmm. Knees are not moving. Four more. Three, two, last one, curl and go down flat. Okay. And now we're gonna continue with those, but a little different. So now curl head, neck and shoulders up, knees are bent towards your chest. Go down, send the legs out. So curl, bend the knees, go down, reach your legs to the 45. Curl up, bend the knees to the chest, go down, reach your legs. Mm -hmm. So when you curl, you bend the knees, go down, reach the legs, three more. Yeah, two, and last one, and go down, relax the head down, put the feet down, just take a little breather. Perfect, breathe in and out, and let's go to the starting position. Knees again, bend in a 90, so knees in the tabletop, hands on the back of your head, take a curl first, and then what you're gonna do, you're just gonna twist, so twist towards the left, back to the center, twist to the right. So stay in a curl and you're just twisting your torso, kind of reaching your opposite elbow to the opposite knee, but knees are not moving. Just twist, stay up, slowly twist, stay in a curl, and breathe. Four more, three more, Knees are stable, hips are stable. You're just twisting with your torso. And last one, and go down, head, neck, and shoulders down. Hug your knees inside towards your chest if you need to. Massage the spine side to side. Just give yourself a little breather. Perfect. Okay. So again, start with the knees in the tabletop position. Now you're gonna curl up and hold only your right knee in. The left leg is extended. Okay, so when you're in a curl, you're holding that right knee in, left leg is extended. Stay in a curl and just reach your extended leg up and down. Mm -hmm. Slowly be controlled. Stay in a curl, up and down. Yeah, four, three, two, one, and go back down with the head, neck, and shoulders if you need to. And now let's go to the starting position again. So now you're going to hug your other knee in. The other leg is extended, stay in the curl, and leg is coming up and down. Slowly movement with the extended leg. Up, down, stay stable, stay in the curl, hold the belly in. Four, three, two, one, and slowly release. And now we can go to the single leg stretch. So curl head, neck and shoulders up. Bring your right knee in, left leg is extended and switch. Stay in the curl, switch the knees. Hold one in, another extended and switch. Stay in the curl as you switch your knees and breathe. Don't forget to breathe. Perfect. And breathe. And three and two, and last one, and lay down on your back, hug your knees one more time in, take a little breather. So now we're gonna go to the double leg stretch. So the same position here, knees in the tabletop, curl head, neck and shoulders up, place your hands on the top of your knees, and then we're gonna go together. Stand the legs forward, arms towards the back, 
and circle the arms to the knees. Stay in the curl all the time. Extension and bend the knees, hug the knees in. Mm -hmm. Extend the legs, extend the arms, perfect. And with control. Mm -hmm. Legs to the 45, arms towards the back and then bend the knees, hug them in. And three more. And two. And last one. And stay down, head, neck and shoulders down. Hug the knees into the chest. Massage the spine side to side. Give yourself a little breather and stretch. Just stretch it out. Perfect. And stay there. You're laying on your back. Your arms are next to your sides. Head is down, shoulders down. Knees are bent and feet are down on the floor. Okay. We're going to prepare for the bridging position. So knees down, feet align with your hips. Take a breather, inhale to start. Tuck the tailbone, push the pubic bone up, go up to your bridge. Mm -hmm. And slowly round your spine, vertebra, vertebra at a time. Just regular bridging up and down. Slowly control, so you're using your glutes. You're squeezing your belly, pressing your hips up. Mm -hmm. Round the spine to go down, come up. So your knees are always aligned with those toes and with your hips. And slowly down, up in the bridge, down, two more here. And down, last bridge, come up and stay in your high bridge. Keep the belly in, keep the glutes squeezed. Okay, so right now you're just gonna pulse the hips up. Squeeze the glutes and pulse, slowly pulse your hips up and squeeze the glutes, just the hips, small pulses. Squeeze the hips and glutes. Four, five, six, seven, uh-huh, eight, nine, 10. Stay in your bridge, don't go down, stabilize your bridge. Now open and close your knees. Open wide. Close. Mm -hmm. Try to keep the bridge stable. Everything is stable. Nothing is moving, just your knees. Keep the glutes really squeezed. And nothing is moving. All your knees are opening and closing. And five. And four. And three. And two. And last one. And then slowly round the spine all the way down, right to right to right time. Take a little breather. Take rest for a second. Okay, perfect. So right now you're going to stay down with the arms, head, neck and shoulders, the same position. We are going up towards your bridge. Up in the bridge first, stay in the bridge. Okay, release your right foot from the floor and keep your right leg all the way up to the ceiling. All right. Single leg bridge, and now only right leg is going down and up. Down to the 45, up to the 90. So keep the bridge stable. You're not going down and up with the bridge, only with the leg. So when you are in the bridge, only the leg down, up to the 90. Down 45 or wherever you can reach, up to the 90. So you're working through that other side of your glute, pressing with the bottom heel down, and three. And two, and last one, and put the foot down on the floor. Slowly put that foot down on the floor, bridge down. Okay, so let's prepare both feet down, up in your bridge. Another leg is coming up to the ceiling, pointed toes. And now the same thing, down to the 45, up to the 90, just another side. So you're now working the other side of your glute. Keep the bridge stable. Try to keep the bridge stable so you're not sinking down with your hips. Only the leg is moving. And four. And three. And two. And last one. And then bend the knee, press the foot down. Down with your bridge, hug the knees in. Hug the knees, hug the knees. Perfect. 
Do your figure for a stretch there. So one ankle over the thigh. Just figure for a stretch on each side like we do to stretch out those glutes and open those hips. And when you stretch that side, you just go to another side, just reverse and stretch it out. <clears throat> stretch it out there. Perfect. And then keep your feet down. Actually extend your legs all the way down on the floor. So legs go in front of you, hip wide apart, extended, and you're laying down on the floor, and then your arms are going all the way up around, uh, above your head, but down on the floor to prepare for the roll up. So arms down, legs down, arms above the head, legs in front of you. You're gonna take a breather, inhale first, and when you exhale, you're gonna shin to the chest and start rolling up, all the way up slowly, reach over your toes and then start slowly curving your spine and rolling down. Yeah, roll down and up slowly, be control using your belly. Chin to the chest again, peel your spine off, use your belly, scoop the belly in, lean over your toes as much as you can, reach, reach, reach. Inhale to start, exhale again, start going down in a C curve and roll your spine all the way down. And let's go for the last one here. Up slowly, pull the belly inch into the chest, lean over your toes, and start scooping the belly in and roll down. Perfect. And last one, you're gonna roll up and lean forward. Yeah, lean, 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 reach. And then you're gonna stay in that sitting position. Okay, stay in the sitting position there. Take a little breather. Let's just do some twists here. So while you're sitting, open the legs wide, more than a hip wide apart. But now you're gonna just put your hands on the back of the head. So elbows are wide, wide open, like really tall spine. Really, really rich tall. Stay tall all the time. And then you're gonna twist to the one side, back to the center and twist to another side. With the elbow wide open, hands on the back of your ears, on the back of the head. Mm -hmm. Keeping those hips in a place. So try to twist only with the obliques as much as you can. You don't need to go to the big twist if your hips are in a place, that's good. Just hips in a place. And breathe, exhale when you twist, inhale when you go back to the center. Perfect. And last one on each side. And back to the center there. Okay, so back to the center there. And close your legs. So you're sitting on your seat bones. You're gonna slightly bend your knees and press your feet down, okay? You're gonna reach your spine tall as much as you can. Hold to your knees here, just reach, reach tall. Lengthen that spine a little bit before we start. Okay, perfect. So from there, reach your arms forward, shoulder height. Tuck the tailbone, go to the C curve and stay there. Okay, reach your one foot off the floor, another foot off the floor. First, stay here in this balanced position on your seat bones with the knees bent. Just stay here and breathe. Just breathe there and stay in your balance. Just practice your balance and find your breaths. Four, three, two, last one. Put your feet down, lean, I mean, uh, reach your spine long. Take a breather, again, sit curve. First, one foot off the floor, another foot off the floor. Arms extended in front of you, and now try to reach your legs. Heels together, toes apart, go to your teaser position. If you can, hold your teaser for 10 seconds. If that's too much for you, you can bend one knee and the leg is extended. You can do a little variation. Try to reach and pour. 
three, two, one, and then bend the knee, put your feet down and reach your spine long, hold to your knees. Okay, perfect. So let's go to one more. So tuck the tailbone, round your spine, feet curve, arms are extended, press your feet off, stay with the knees bent. Okay, so now extend the legs, torso a little bit down, bend the knees, torso up. Try to balance there on your seat bones as you do your, oops, this is not good for me, but for you is good, yeah. Torso down, legs extended, torso a little bit up, knees bent. And three, and two, and last one, and press the feet down. You can lay down on the floor all the way down, hold your knees towards your chest, and give yourself that stretch again. Just kind of lay down, knees towards your chest, head down, massage the spine side to side. Perfect. And from there, you're gonna transfer to the all four. So transfer to your all four position, Separate your knees and go to your child pose. So press your tushy all the way to the heel, sweep your arms forward, relax the head, relax the shoulders. Just stay there and breathe for a few seconds in the child pose position. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Perfect. From the child pose, you're going to the all four. So your knees under your hips, your wrists under your shoulders, neutral spine. And let's go to the cat and cow stretch. So you're just gonna take a big inhale and extend the spine, look up. And take a big exhale, round the spine, look down towards your thighs and belly button. Extension, inhale, and flexion, exhale. Cat and cow stretch. Mm -hmm. A few more there. Just stretch it out. And last stretch there. And then go to your neutral spine. So neutral spine, you're keeping your belly in. Perfect. Okay, let's go to a little balance and stretching the lower back breaking the glutes. So now stay on all four and then we're gonna reach right arm forward, left leg towards the back. Reach, reach, reach. And then bend the knee, bend the elbow, touch under and reach. So touch the knee to the elbow and reach. Sting with the neutral spine. Don't arch your back too much. Keep the belly in. Mm -hmm. Perfect, and breathe. Balancing on that one side slowly and control. And three more, and two more. And last one, reach the arm and leg, stay there. Just stay, reach arm, reach leg, stay, stay, stay. And relax down on the floor. I mean, press the arm down, leg down. Let's go to another side. So reach the other leg and arm forward and leg towards the back. And again, bend the elbow, bend the knee, touch, and reach. Try to touch, or you don't need to touch, just bend the elbow, bend the knee under, and reach. Just make sure that you're not really arching the back and that you're keeping your belly engaged all the time. So your abs are strong all the time. Don't, go let, don't let go from your abs and breathe. Opposite elbow, opposite knee, and four, and three, and two, and last one, and relax down on the floor. Okay, one more child pose. Perfect. From the child pose, again, towards your, uh, towards your old four. Oh, but before that, grab your back actually and 
and just sit down for a second and put your bend over your knees around your thighs. So your bend should go over the knees around your thighs. If you see that the band is too strong for you and you want to do it without the band, you can just take it off. But first try here, with the band on, and go to your old four. Okay. So here, neutral spine, the same position, <clears throat> knees under the hips, wrists under your shoulders. And now what you do, you just open that left knee to the side and close. Open and close. So left knee opening and closing, breaking those glutes and your outer thighs. And in control, try to stay centered here. And four, and three, and two. And last one, open and stay there. And just, mm, just pulse that knee up. Pulse, pulse to the side. Pulse, I mean not up, towards the side. Just small pulses. Side, five, four, three, two, one, and go back down. Okay, take a little rest. The same leg is working now. Just you're gonna extend that leg towards the back. Tap the toes down. Okay, and now reach the leg up and down. You reach up, squeeze the toes and down. If your wrists are hurting, you can always go to the forearms down on the floor and do that here. If you don't want to be with extended arms, you can do forearms, but keep the belly in. So you're not arching your back. Three more. Two. Last one. And press. Take a little breather. Take a little rest. And again, extend that same leg towards the back. Tap the toes down. Okay. Now you're going to reach the leg up. Bend the knee, flex the foot. And let's go just kick the heels up towards the ceiling. Kick, kick, up, up. Five, four, three, two, one. And um, go to your top holes. Elbows there. <coughs> Go to the old four again. Now you're working another side and another leg. So all four and now another knee to the side and close. Open to the side and close. Just you're switching the sides, you're switching the leg. Open, close. Open, close. And five. And four, good control, mm -hmm. three, two, last one, open, stay there, and small pulses up towards the side. Small pulse, five, four, three, two, one, and put the knee down, take a little breather. Now extend the same leg all the way towards the back, tap the toes down and reach the leg up and down. Up and down, straight leg. Again, if you wanna go to your forearms down and it's easier for you like that, so you're not hurting your wrists, you can do it. Kick up and down. Mm -hmm. Extended leg is kicking up to the ceiling, kind of squeeze the glute and down. And three more, and two, and last one, and bend the knee, go down, take a little breather if you want to go to your child pose for a second. And then the last one here, again to the old four or to your forearms, wherever you prefer. Extend the same leg out, kick up, bend the knee, flex the foot, and small kicks with your heel up to the ceiling. Heel up, up, kick up, squeeze the glutes. Five, four, three, two, one, and press the knee down, sit down on your heels, extend your arms forward, and take a breather and hold for a stretch. Stretch it out, breathe in and out for a few times. 
Perfect. So from there, you're gonna just take off your band for a second. So you can sit down and take off your band, put the band aside. Return to your all four position on your knees and on your palms. Curl your toes, reach your hips up to the downward dog, extend the legs. So just go to the downward dog stretch. You can walk your heels up and down. So one up, one down, just a little stretching there on your hamstrings. And hold to the downward dog, hips up in your full body. Perfect. And then from there, again, all four. And again, now pose one more time. Stay there. And back to the all four. Okay. Go to your forearms. So elbows down, forearms down. And reach your legs all the way towards the back. I'm not going to do that, but you're going to go to your plank with the legs all the way to the back and hold the plank here with the forearms down. Just hold your strong plank position. Just hold it for 10 seconds. So you're only holding. And neck align with the spine, so that straight line with the full body. Push a little bit up, press the tushi down so you have the straight line. And breathe. Five more. Four, three, two, one, rest the knees down for a second. Just rest. Again, to the plank. So again, you're going to the plank, stay in the plank. And you're gonna go to the hip dips. Dip your hips to the right, center, left, center. So just hip dips, twist to one side, twist to another side while you are in your plank. I'm not doing the plank now, but you're gonna do with extended legs, mm -hmm. and just keep your tushi a little bit, keep your tushi down. So don't go high with your tushi, keep the straight line with the full body when you going to the hip dips. And three more, two, last one, and reach your knees down. So just kind of rest your knees down, go to your child pose position. Child pose. Okay. From the child pose back to the all four. Now you have extended arms. You're down on your palms. And now with extended arms, reach your legs towards the back. Go to the plank, full plank with the arms extended. So wrists are under your shoulders. Reach your legs towards the back and hold the plank there. So full plank and hold. Breathe in and out. Five more, four, three, two, last one. You can rest down on your knees and just take a little breather from the plank. Breathe in, breathe out, back to your plank with extended arms. And from there, so your arms are extended, your wrists are under your shoulders. So you're going to go to your push-ups, down and up as much as you can. You can do five or 10 if you want, but five is, five is enough. If that push-ups are hard for you, you can always go down on your knees and do that halfway push-ups. Just as much as you can. And when you're done with your five or 10, just go down on the floor and lay down all the way towards your belly. So lay down on your belly. I'm not going to do that. I can't just lay down on the, on the belly now. But you lay down, extend the legs towards the back, extend the arms forward, and just stretch it out a little bit. Perfect. OK, and when you are on your bellies, your legs are extended all the way to the back. Open your legs kind of hip by the part. Push the belly in, push the pubic bone down to the floor. And your arms and forearms actually are coming on next to your sides. So elbows bent, forearms next to your sides. Okay, we're gonna go to that swan stretch. 
So head down, uh, chest down, first to side. Inhale and exhale, extend the arms, reach your head, neck and shoulders up, chest up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Keeping your hips down and pubic bone down. And then bam, the elbows go down, leave the torso up. And then again, exhale, reach the torso up, chest up, open the chest, look up to the ceiling, extended arms, just like a swan stretch. And again, go back down. And always separate your legs, hip wide apart, so you're not hurting your lower back. So one more. Press up, stretch it out. And bend the elbows, go back down. Okay, stay there. And you just wanna reach your arms forward. So reach the arms, extend them all the way in front of you and the legs are extended towards the back. So legs are open, keep wide apart. Belly, your big bone down to the floor. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna do that Superman, Superwoman. So reach the arms and legs off the floor and press down to the floor. So reach a little bit off and down to the floor together, arms and legs. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Keep the belly in. So you're not putting the, too much pressure in the lower back. Belly is always strong. And let's go for three more here. Inhales and exhales. Two more. Last one and down rest. Okay, rest here first. And then you're gonna reach your arms and legs a little bit off the floor first. Stay there and start swimming and pedaling. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Swim and pedal your arms and legs. Mm -hmm. Relax your neck and breathe. Keep the belly in in five seconds. Four, three, two, one. And again, rest arms and legs all the way down. Okay, perfect. So from there, go to your child pose one more time for a stretch. Bend the knees, keep on your heels. Child pose. Mm -hmm. From the top, you're going to the pigeon stretch. So first on all four, and then you're bending your right knee in front of you, extending the left leg towards the back. It's just a pigeon stretch to open up your hips a little bit, stretch those glutes. You can press your torso and chest and arms down to the floor to rest everything here, rest your head down. Stay a few seconds there. Inhale, exhale. Perfect. And then from there, slowly switch the legs. Just switching the legs for the same stretch. And again, you can also rest your upper body down, arms, your head. Stay there in your resting position, stretch position. A few seconds, inhale, exhale. And from there, slowly come up to the seat. So sit here facing me, facing the camera. Open your legs wide apart. So your legs are open. Okay. So from there, you're going to just bend one knee in, doesn't matter which one. So bend one knee in and stay with another leg extended. Okay, so from there, twist your torso towards that extended leg and reach towards that foot or towards the ankle, wherever you can reach and hold. And breathe. A few breaths in and out. Just hold it there. Slowly come up and switch the leg, another knee bend, another leg extended, reach towards that extended leg, hold to the toes or hold to the ankle, wherever you can reach, and breathe, lean towards the extended leg, few more breaths, and release, come up, okay, so now you're going to 
in that cross like position wherever it's comfortable for you on both hips down both seat bones are down and then you're going to reach one arm over the head another can be over your belly and don't lift your hips off the floor so hips seat bones are staying down reach one arm over go back to the center reach your arm over go back to the center stay tall interlace your fingers and arms all the way on the back and open the chest up so open your chest reach arms unless somebody's pulling your wrists towards the back open open chest look up to the ceiling if you want opening those chests and release and your guys are done for today <laughs> thank you so much thank you thank you how many months are you pregnant i'm sorry how many months are you pregnant I i'm six months but it's super small you don't look six months darling <laughs> Uh, who, who, I should have only looked like you in six months. Who, who, is, the, who is the lucky man? Oh, it's my boyfriend. Or... Your boyfriend is American or European? Oh, he is from my, my country, European. Serbian also, from, from where I'm from. So we are from the same. The, the, the key thing is we are married only 52 years. Only? <laughs> only 52. The key thing is number one is respect to each other of course yeah and number two chemistry you know you're happy yeah. to see him and he's happy to see you and number three it's nice to have love in your life exactly <laughs> and i wish you the boy is coming uh i'm sorry is it a boy or a girl oh, it's, a boy, it's a boy yeah nice <laughs> we got two boys they're good they're easy i have Four granddaughters who was a drama every day, and the boys, no drama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boys are deep. I wanted the boys, so. <laughs> yeah. Listen, you take what you get as long as they're healthy. The, the boy, you give him shorts and t shirt and a ball, and he's happy. Yeah, he's happy. And, and it doesn't girl. matter what he eats. He wants to eat pizza, french fries, <laughs> ice cream, everything. The girls, if they start to eat pizza and ice cream and this, somehow they become big. <laughs> yeah. Boys you are easier, here, I think. You understand, huh? Yeah. Well, it's good. Anyway, you look terrific. Yeah. You just stay healthy. Yeah. Thank That's you. what you think. How yeah. is it in Miami? Um, Miami, is, uh, no, the weather is terrible. Like, it's raining all the time. It's like, yeah, yeah you know. And the virus, are people putting masks or not? Well, the same. The, kind of when you you when you're inside of the store or the restaurants, you're putting masks. Yeah. So, but and they open up the the restaurants are working longer, and I think they open up nightlife too. Eh? Yeah, they open. I mean, Miami is crazy compared yeah. to New York. They're no. crazy. And how about the election action? Election action. Oh, Action, action. I don't even know what's going on with that. Where we are, there's two kinds of people. There's Trump people and yeah. there's Biden people. And they fight. <laughs> we, we don't talk about it, that's all. We don't. Yeah, yeah. And the people like me, they, I'm like, uh, on, yeah. I'm, never, I'm, on, I'm not on any side, so. <laughs> that's good. We need but, a couple like you. Yeah, but we send our um, voting by mail. Because we won't be in Miami, but also last time we stood there two hours online four years ago. And okay. then there was another hour online. We said, you know what? We can do it. We can mail it and uh, cast our vote. But you got to vote. You know, this country was built on principles of basically democracy mm -hmm. and every person counts. You know, it's not... Um, uh, uh, yeah, I know it's very important. It's not dictatorship, you know. Yeah. It's not like it's not like Putin. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like Putin. Whatever he wants, he does. He does. Here, Trump 
they call him stupid, they call him this. If somebody calls Putin stupid, they give him a little poison. <laughs> you know that. <laughs> anyway, feel good and we'll see you next week. Yeah, see you guys. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. It was a great class. Thank you. So Miami is the same, huh? <laughs> Miami is always the same. <laughs>